channel. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you are not, welcome back. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you probably know that I love thrifting. In fact, I think I've claimed before that about 90% of my wardrobe is thrifted. I love thrifting because A, it's sustainable and ethical. B, it's cheaper, usually. And C, it's fun as fuck. <laughs> I really enjoy thrifting. It's like one of my favorite hobbies. It's just like the thrill of finding the jackpot or like something beautiful and like a unique piece that you probably wouldn't be able to find anywhere else is indescribable. So I've collected many pieces from my thrifting adventures over the years and I thought today would be a great day to try on every single thing that I've ever thrifted. <laughs> Before I get started, this video is inspired by Ashley from Best Dress Video, her trying on every single piece of clothing she owns. So the style is pretty similar, I kind of um, got inspired from her, but um, this video is everything I've ever thrifted, not necessarily every single piece of clothing that I own, but after picking out all the things in my closet that are thrifted, it was almost my entire closet. <laughs> Anyways, here is everything that I've ever thrifted. Pants are definitely my favorite thing to thrift for. The second I go into a thrift store, a vintage store, the first thing that I had to are the pants. Because I find that you always find the funkiest pants in thrift stores, things that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. I love pants a lot, and especially finding just like a crazy pair of you can pair with just a normal top I just find really completes the outfit. Pants are probably my favorite item of clothing that I own and I've collected a lot throughout the years. I've also collected some leggings and some exercise leggings as well, like these ALO yoga pants which are amazing and such a good find. I just find that the perfect pair of pants really makes the outfit and something that is really hard to find are a good pair of jeans but I have been very lucky recently in finding some amazing pair of jeans that actually fit me so well. The good thing about finding used jeans or vintage jeans is that they've already been worn in so you don't get that weird stiff denim thing and they actually can fit you and have a little bit of give to them which is hard to find in newer jeans. I also love shopping for tops. They are probably my second piece of clothing that I enjoy buying. In regards to t-shirts, I'm not a big t-shirt wearer. I definitely prefer my shirts to be cropped. Um, I'm kind of a hoe for cropped tops to be honest as you'll soon notice that pretty much all of my tops are cropped. <laughs> I like finding both casual tops and also funky tops, so if I were to have a casual top, I would pair it with more funky pants, I guess, and if I were to have a funky top or a nice dressy top, pair it with something a little bit more casual, or you can just pair, you know, a nice casual shirt with a pair of jeans and just have a very casual look, which I do lots of the time. Another good thing about thrifting tops is they don't necessarily have to fit you perfectly. You can always cut them into a crop top or tie them or kind of do what you want with them to sort of make them fit you so it's not a big deal if they don't fit you perfectly a lot of the time whereas with pants there's not a whole lot you can do other than if they're too long you could hem them. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video also that I have that really really strange looking like pimple on my chest it's really ugly and it's right in the middle it's just staring at you the whole time you're watching this video so I'm just gonna apologize for that um, right now and um, I hope we can carry on and I hope that it doesn't distract you too much. I only own four rompers slash jumpsuits and they're all thrifted. This is my favorite jumpsuit that I've ever found, or a romper I guess. I love it so much. It's from Free People, but thrifted. This romper doesn't really fit me, it's way too short. This romper is cute, but definitely not my style. And this romper reminds me of Jane Goodall. 
I own like maybe four sweaters and three of them are thrifted. I find sweaters to be really boring so I like to find sweaters that aren't boring because they're just boring in general. So here are the sweaters that I thrifted. <laughs> You won't find me in dresses often, but for some reason I seem to like thrifting them. I do like how they're flowy and you can kind of dance. It's also great when you have to pee really bad, you can kind of just pop a squat and go behind a bush and it won't really be that much, you know, unbuttoning or unzipping. Uh, this dress has a broken zipper, but I've kept it because I think it's cute and maybe one day I'll fix it. So this dress I bought a long time ago and it kind of makes me feel like a Sesame Street character or like the Sun King or something. I don't know if this is a dress or a top, it's kind of too long to be a top but too short to be a dress, but I like it anyways. These are the comfiest shorts that I've ever found in my life and I love them. These are the second comfiest shorts that I have and I also love these. One time somebody thought that I had napkins stuffed into the waistline of these shorts, but it's just how they are. These shorts make me feel like I'm wearing a diaper. These are my church shorts, and that's exactly why I'm going to hell. I always find that skirts just don't really do much for my butt, except for this one skirt right here. It does a lot for my butt. But other than that, skirts are fun, they're flowy, they're just fun things to frolic in the fields with or dance or twirl around in. For how much I love jackets, I've only ever thrifted two of them and they are both brown and both straight out of the 70s. I'm not a big shoe person, definitely more of a boot person, I guess, but um, I did thrift these Doc Martin boots that um, are straight out of my dreams. They're brown, platform, and vintage. I also thrifted these Harley Davidson boots, which I love. They just make me feel like a badass biker bitch. And the color scheme of these Converse, I mean, how could I not? I have the world's smallest head, so finding hats that fit me has been quite the struggle. But when I do, I have to get it. And I have collected a couple hats along the way. This is my yeehaw hat. Yeehaw, bitches! I have way too many bags. I got this one because it has a mushroom on it. I got this one because I needed a fanny pack. I got this one because it has a cool fringe on it. I got this one because I needed a backpack in Bali. And I got this one because the color scheme. And I got this one because it was a free people bag. Buying swimsuits thrifted is quite a struggle. And as we all know, crochet bathing suits don't really work. However, I did find this wetsuit for $11 and it's amazing. Here are some other things that I've thrifted. This really cool belt that I found in Colorado these really cool earrings that I thrifted for $6, this cool bandana, this other cool bandana, this bralette that I forgot to try on, this other bralette that I forgot to try on, these sunglasses I got for $3. I have something in my tooth. Oh well. Um, this isn't a very professional angle, but my camera died or it ran out of space. So we're here now on my phone. Anyways, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was definitely like the most amount of effort I've ever had to make in a video and the most amount of editing I've had, ever had to do and the most time consuming video ever. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. I'm actually thinking about doing a part two of this because I've thrifted a lot of like home decor items that aren't necessarily like wearable items. I've thrifted a lot of like furniture and like decorations and stuff and blankets. So if you want to see a part two, and also I'm going to continuously thrift, so there'll probably be a part two anyways of like the stuff that I've thrifted since this video has been made, since I've literally already gone thrifting like three times since I filmed this. So <laughs> anyways, let me know if you want to see like part two, part three of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. And I will see you guys next time.
Bye.